This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Today I will show you how you can create some really cool 2D landscapes in Photoshop easily. But today we will have a little challenge. We will use just rectangular marquee tool. And of course we can transform it, warp it and so on and so forth. But we will use just that tool. It will be a challenge. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, we are here in Photoshop. We are starting with a blank piece of paper. The aspect ratio is four by five. I just choose that. You can choose whatever you want. It's completely optional. It's completely up to you. And uh, the idea is to create some kind of landscapes. We will have here some uh, windmill. So something like, like this probably. You can see I'm perfect with the drawing. Okay, the idea is to create something like this. Maybe some trees here and there. Maybe some animals, some hills behind moon or sun, some stars and so on and so forth. But using just this rectangular marquee tool and uh, it will be cool. So let's hide this. Let's actually let's delete it. Before we started this episode, I choose some color palette that I want to use. So pretty dark blue color. It's not black. It looks like a black, but it's a little bit of a bluish tint. Let me show you real quickly. So here it is. You can see it's pretty dark blue tone. Then we have brighter, brighter, brighter and really bright blue tone. It's not white. You can see this is white. So I don't want to use pure white here. So I will use these colors. First, I will start with this. I will just grab this color and create a new layer and use marquee tool. That's it. Just create something like this. Fill it alt and backspace or option and backspace on a Mac if this is a foreground color and control command D to deselect. So this is it. This is the starting position. This is our, uh, I don't know, the front front plan of the landscape. So I will transform this control or command T, right click and I will warp it. So I will put this a little bit down, maybe this a little bit up and it looks cool. So we can use warp, we can use transform tool, but only the Marquee, rectangular marquee tool. Okay, so let's say that this is pretty much okay. The next idea is to create a windmill. But before we do that, I just want to say that this episode is sponsored by Envato Elements. Envato Elements is an amazing website where you can find all the elements that you need for basically any projects that you are creating. They have millions of stock photos, stock videos, audio files, sound effects. They have a huge library of amazing 3D objects and that's one of my favorite parts there because you can rotate 3D object and position them in the proper angle and orientation that you need for your photo manipulation. Also, they have a bunch of other graphic design elements like some really cool silhouettes of the animals that we will use today or they have amazing templates for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, so some really cool intros, outros, transitions whatever you need, they practically have it. Also, they have a lot of fonts, a lot of other templates, check them out. They're pretty affordable. The annual plan is just $16.5 per month and you have unlimited downloads. Also, you don't need to worry about the licensing because all the elements there, all the assets are licensed. So if you want to check them out, follow the link down there in the description and be part of Envato Elements family. Right, now let's go back to the video. New layer, I will use the same color and uh, I will go and create something like like this. This is a base of a windmill. Again, fill it. Then I will create, I can go here or let's create a new layer so it's easier. I can create something like this, fill it again, deselect, transform, control, command T. I can rotate it. And now it's pretty much optional what you want to do with this. So I can go and leave it like this. Let's zoom this. Leave it like this and maybe make a copy, control or command J, control or command T to transform it, to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit more up, and then just change the position. Maybe we, we can make it even, I don't know, even smaller like this. So the shape of this, it's completely what whatever you want to be. I will show a few tricks later, but let's say this is okay. So we need another part here. Let's create a window. So another layer and uh, Again, marquee tool, this this will be a window, but for the window, we'll go with the brush tool, alt or option and sample the brightest color here, okay? And fill it with that. Deselect, transform, rotate or or not, however you want. Let me, let me just see what this looks like. So not bad. 
like we have a window here we can make two of them for example bigger smaller let's make it smaller just a little bit so this looks cool so maybe this one a little bit down and okay the next part is to create those propellers i don't know the english word for that but it looks like pro propellers so the idea is let's see this is the size maybe it's not we will see so again i'm sampling this color filling with it transform it and let's see if i put this if i hold shift and rotate i can rotate so by 15 degrees 15 30 45 i want 45 if i put it here this is pretty nice size maybe a little bit smaller maybe a little bit narrow like not like that but maybe maybe like this maybe let's see and it doesn't look bad so i will use this as a guide to create another one so how i will do that well it's really cool trick again i will use marquee tool i will make a copy of this Control command j so i have two of them move one here use marquee tool and just select it's optional something like that and i will delete that so to have a hole here okay and then i will select again this and like that invert shift control alt i or shift command alt i on a mac and delete everything except this so now i will make a copy of this let's let's move it closer to this because of the size so make a copy control command j and i will just i made a mistake but i will just flip vertical okay and put it here press enter that's cool so i can now make the copy of these two select both of these and control or command j and move it down okay then i can make a copy of all four of these okay control command j move it down right and i need two more probably so let's make a copy of these two control or command j move it down and one more so okay one more control command j and move it move it here and that's pretty nice i can just go here delete this one and go and let's see this is a window this is a window okay go from here all the way up to this Control command e to merge everything into one layer and i will make a copy of this too no before that i want to add some kind of a cloth here so new layer put it below this one and just add some kind of a cloth part here something like this let's fill it again with the same color and lower the opacity that's really cool now i can merge those those two layers into one make a copy Control command j Control or command t to transform it 90 degrees and this is cool now i can make it merge all, all those uh, layers into one so select those two Control or command e and this is it perfect now we need to rotate it for 45 degrees angles so Control command t shift and just rotate it and put it voila put it somewhere over the rainbow see really is using just marquee tool i really like it so now let's see the next challenge we need to populate the background and everything so let's let's add first the background i, I don't like the white here so i will go right there and create gradient so for the gradient colors i will use some sort of the blue here so probably for this i will use this blue let's see and for this i will use this one okay and here this one needs to be 100 percent opacity okay perfect i like it already i need to either rotate it like this or reverse it like this whatever and now i can move it a little bit up a little bit down so hmm let's let's say for now that i like it like this we can always move it and change the gradient and also here i can transform it a little bit wider and now it's pretty cool all right so we have windmill so this 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 and this and this and this so let's group this control or command g to group and name it wind wind mill okay perfect this is it this is our windmill we can make it a little bit taller if we want or not or leave it like this however we want 
Then the idea is to create some trees here. So let me show you how you can really easily create the trees using just rectangular marquee tool. New layer, same color, this one, and create rectangle, fill it, deselect it. Then controller command T, 45 degree angle, rotate it. This is it. Now again, marquee tool, and we will delete this lower portion. So we have this. We can transform this control command T and now I'm using combination of shift control alt or shift command option on the Mac to move this. If I hold just control, I will move single single uh, point here. If I'm holding shift alt and control, I'm pers moving in perspective and so on and so forth. You can use the right click and for example, change the perspective. Okay, change the perspective, whatever you want, however you want. So this is one part of the tree. So for this, I will move it here and change it a little bit more. So let's say like that, make a copy. I'm holding Alt or Option while I'm in a move tool and just making a copy by moving it. So this is one, maybe, maybe one bigger. So just taller like that. So we have one group of trees. Maybe here is another one. Let's make this a little bit lower here. And maybe here is another group or just one or two, let's say, let's say this is a really big one. So this is really cool. We have some trees here, not bad. Maybe this one can, can be a little bit taller, like this. And maybe this one can be even taller and wider. And let's see, because they're in a the front plan, I, I will make them a little bit bigger, so why not? So let's see, this, this, and this. And this, I will make them even bigger. Like, again, it's completely optional. This is pretty big, so uh, let's undo it. This is okay. All right, now I will create some mountains behind and I will show you some variation how to do this and how to change the shape, but again, using just this tool. So uh, I will, let's say these are our trees. So I will group this, three. Trees. Okay, so we have this. Now let's go with the mountains. I want the mountains to be behind this uh, base layer, right? Landscape layer, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And I will create a new layer by holding Control or Command on Mac and click to create a new layer there. And for the mountains, again, I will go with Rectangular Marquee Tool, create the shape, fill it, but this time we'll go with a brighter color because um, that's a really cool way to make the depth in the image. Everything that is further away from the camera will be brighter. So that's cool. Everything that is closer to the camera will be darker. So this, I will fill it with the blue. You know the procedure. Rotate it. Use the lower part of, uh, delete the lower part of it and then just, just use this. And this is our mountain. So this is part of the mountain. So we can use it like this, just like this, okay? Or we can go I will show you here, Control or Command T, right click, we can warp it. We can warp this, maybe we want to make some kind of this shape or this shape or whatever you want, we can really easily change it here. We can even make this kind of shape like a hill. So if you want this, not bad. So let's make a few of these. Let's warp this one a little bit up like that. And uh, I'll just, Make a few variations here. One is here and another is right, right there. So let's see if we can make one little bit more pointy or not. Or we need to make another triangle. So um, let's make, let's make a new triangle. Okay, by removing the lower part. And now let's see if I put this one here, transform it, warp it, and move this a little bit down, a little bit like that. I just want a little bit variation, like to have a little bit peak here. And this is it. This is a first row of the mountains. I can make this one bigger, overall bigger, like, like this, why not? And let's say, okay, we like it. So maybe because of this i'm not sure if i will keep like this but let's say that 
This is one variation. So I will go and fast forward this because it's completely the same process. What I will do here, I will go all the way down and create a new layer, create, use next color and do everything exactly the same. So rotate, delete and use this portion here as a mountain and just populate everything. I will go with one more or two more rows of the mountain. I will come back. And I will see in the meantime, if I will change the front, you will see everything in the speed now. You, you got the idea. Okay, so I have three rows, but because this last row is not visible enough, I will go back here and just double click to get this menu and move everything down so I can have a little bit darker background so you can see you can see this if I need different kind of a gradient transition I can click here and just move this a little bit like that or move this one a little bit here if I want brighter so that's a few other tricks what we can do uh, also let me just check this color that I choose right here this is this color this color yeah is this color okay we can go with one more let's let's try one more while you're watching this with a little bit brighter and let's create a new mountain right there let's create a square mountain so that would be cool let's delete everything down below I think I didn't delete all yeah so I can go with this one a little bit a little bit bigger like that like it's the biggest mountain peak all the way back and uh, I can leave it like this or I can put another one here just for fun. And let's see, where is the middle of the screen? Here. So, I can go like, like this, okay? And now I can go and create, so this already looks cool. It's, it's pretty, pretty nice. We will make it even more interesting. So here now what we can do, we can create a sun or a moon so let's create this is the only time where I will use a circle because let's be honest if this is our moon <laughs> or a sun uh, this is crazy we have a diamond so we don't want diamond here we want something that is more circular so for that I'll definitely go and use only this for the purpose of the sun here or moon whatever we want to have it you will see later so we can we can go like this why not it's cool we can go like that okay and uh, also i'm thinking should i change the color of this mountain into into this hmm. to have just three three rows of mountain not bad i think i like it better and maybe move another peak here something like like this I'm not sure so that's not bad at all that's not bad at all the point here you can you can play it however you want so it, it's it's fun and now before we continue what I want to go here is to go to this row the second one that is actually up there I changed this from from these oval to this more pointy so I can delete this just double check that I'm deleting the yeah I'm deleting the right things here so delete and uh, point is that I want to go here and I want to create more trees here so uh, to do that I will, I will again fast forward but what I will do and how I will do I will go anywhere either at the top or in between it doesn't matter so I'll create a new layer I will again create rectangular marquee tool sample this stone it needs to be the same rotate and again do the same triangle trick with the trees so see I will, I will have this right here but because that's further away I need smaller trees and now I'll just populate a few trees here and there on the mountains okay fast forward Okay, this is not bad. You can make even more if you want. It's up to personal preference, however you want, but the idea is to have a little more trees there because 
the third plan is even more further away from the camera, the trees will be tinier. You can do it, I won't do it here. I will now show you how we can create some really cool stars here and uh, we'll add some animals and that's basically, basically it. So for the stars, I will choose this stone, again, this stone for the moon, the same, okay. And uh, let's hide these colors. I will go all the way back, down, here. Create a new layer, name it stars. And this is moon, because this is a blue, blue background, so it's night scene and the mountains. So let's go all the way here and let's see. This is where the mountains ends, yeah. Okay, and then we have the trees. Here, let's double check. Yes. And uh, that's it. So here I will create the stars. For the stars, I will go with the regular hard round brush, but I will change it. So I don't want to add like this. I will go with the brush properties, F5 for this icon here. Go to spacing all the way up. 1000 shape dynamics again all the way up scattering all the way up and uh, that's it that's all that we want to have like this okay so now i will make really small brush even smaller and just few strokes here and there just to create some really cool stars we can create some kind of constellations if we want but that's pretty nice I like it. Also, we can go with the moon and go behind uh, above the moon and add a glow just by going to linear dodge blending mode, really soft round brush and choose the brightest color here. We can choose the same color that, that the moon is, but see? Really nice. So we can add a few animals here. I already uh, download these animals from Envato Elements and they have a bunch of different set of animals, so I will use some of them here. Okay, so I will use one bird. So let's let's move everything up right there. I will use a bird, but I will rasterize it and change the color. So I want this animal to be a little bit further away, so I will control, click on it, and choose the color for the this this for the third row here and fill the animal all right and move it make it smaller so we have these um Opa. we have these how to say outlines that i don't like but if it's small and further away it won't be so visible yeah so we have one we can have another one right there maybe rotate it a little bit and we have two of the birds there. Then I can go with another bird. So I can put one right, let's see, rasterize, control click and use this color right there, fill it. And I will make this one smaller and put it, put it right here. Like it want to land on this part of the propeller so let's see this is cool okay then i will go for another bird and i will go all the way up here rasterize fill it with the same color uh yeah i need to deselect then control or command t make it smaller and this one will be here closer maybe a little Let's see, a little bit smaller, like that. And I will make two of them, so two or even three. And I can just move them somewhere here, right? Like they're flying. And also let's add a few more animals. Let's add one deer here. So let's see, I'm looking on my other screen. Where is the mouse? The mouse gone crazy, so. Okay, it's here. So I will go with this one, again make it smaller, rasterize, fill it with the same tone that the first row here is and I can 
put it here. Okay, so that means that these trees are really small. Mm, like this, okay. And another one. So let's go with, 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 let's go with this one. Again, I want to make it smaller. Rasterize. Ooh, fill it and make it smaller. So let's see. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. We don't want that. That's a mistake. Uh, what a mistake to make us. So this is cool. And we can use one more animal and let's say we are done for, for uh, this part. So rasterize and fill it and transform it and you got you know the, the drill so here make it smaller maybe behind the tree like it's it's doing something okay let's let's leave it here rotate it a little bit and we have some really cool scene here so also what i would love to do here i will group all of this name animals Okay, and also what I would love here is to duplicate the windmill. So control command T, a J, sorry, J. And this is it. So I will put windmill behind the mountains. So where exactly? So I need to go in the mountain group. And uh, actually, I need to go. Let's see. First, what I need to do is to change the color. So everything, everything except Let's see this, this, this. Fill it with this color. So I will control click on this, fill it. Control click on this. Okay, fill it and control click on this and fill it with this color. So why is this happening? Because of the selection. So I will manually go and uh, just do this and also I will leave the windows and this I can try to fill it but let's see how this would be actually it's cool so I will move this behind everything and we have it we can go and group we already have a group but uh, to go with, to merge it with control command E and uh, this is one windmill that we can transform it and make it smaller and put it on one of the hills here maybe even smaller like that and that looks cool what do you think i think it's really cool and we can make another one maybe let's put another one here and make it a little bit smaller just to make impression that it's a little bit further away so that's it or we can put it here but the windmill should be right at the top of the mountain don't ask me why, just for fun. And I will say this is pretty much okay. And uh, that's it. So now if you want to turn this into a daylight scene, it's pretty easy. So let's go here. And this is one, this is two. So let's move everything here. Yeah, we can go right there. Use hue and saturation adjustment layer and just colorize and go to something like sunset day time scene we can do this kind of trick and we have a daytime scene also you can go with the curves and uh, play with with this a little bit and i don't know add a little bit more contrast as you can see or whatever or, or merge everything into one layer and go to adobe camera and go there and play with uh, some other tones maybe split toning and so on and so forth but this is it it's really easy it's really fun you can create whatever you want using um, 2d uh, landscape technique in photoshop i have several of these kind of tutorials different techniques different approach i really love this challenge type to use just rectangular marquee tool and to create uh, this kind of uh, Landscape, of course, the animals are the animals from Envato Elements. You can go to Envato Elements, they have a bunch of cool silhouette animals, or you can 
download it whenever you want but the point is that you can really easily create some really cool 2d scenes right guys so that would be it for today subscribe in case you're not already ring the bell to get notified about all the future episodes and also like this episode if you really like it and share it with your friends so more people can know about these episodes and to share the knowledge among your friends have fun experimenting and see you next week in the next fun tutorial bye bye